Hello, I am Tirthalion, and this is my second reading of the day. As you can see, it is a Celtic cross, so to uh, grab your favorite drink and some popcorn, because this one's going to take a minute or two. So, um, this is you here in the center, and this is the lover's card reversed. Now, the lover's card reversed can mean several different things, but basically, um, you know, recently you've come out of a relationship that wasn't exactly good for either or. Um, so it's a good thing that this is over with. Um, also, another thing that the lover's reverse can mean, as you can see in the card, you have the um, usual, um, normal uh, relationship, male-female. So it could mean that um, you know, you're LGBTQ, which I know you personally, so I know this to be true. Now, the next card, this is what blocks or helps you, and this is the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles is uh, basically balance. As you can see, the, the jester has the circles at the exact same level. Um, pentacles are the suit of money and or financial gains. So, um, currently you are um, in a balance, you know, or a balancing act when it comes to your finances. Um, I don't see any change in that currently. Um, so, you know, you're basically doing fine. Um, the next card, this is going to be the past. Now this card is uh, the Empress reversed. Now the Empress is the, um, you know, as you can see, well you can sort of see, uh, the Empress is usually pregnant and she's surrounded by an abundance of um, material and or um, financial wares. With this card reversed, what she's looking at is that, or what we're looking at when it comes to this one is, uh, you know, there's going to be a lack of an, there's going to be a lack of abundance. Um, you're going to have issues with, um, I'm guessing, because I already know what this card is, um, it's going to be an issue with uh, some of your courses because it ties with the uh, this card, which is uh, the past influence. Well, I don't know what this card is. Um, so, in your past, you've had an issue with a lack of abundance. Um, my guess is, is that um, your parents were um, pretty much like everybody else, you know. You didn't want for anything as a child, but you um, weren't well to do. Um, now this next card, this is um, uh, past influences, and this is the Nine of Cups reversed. Um, it looks like, you know, as a younger guy, you uh, you didn't have any issues with, um, you know, this card uh, basically is Cloud Nine. Um, you know, all the cups are upright, they're uh, floating in the clouds, you know, she's looking, you know, wonderful, she's got her best dress on. Um, so this would be the Cloud Nine card. Now with this card reversed, it basically means that, you know, it was an emotional ride when you were younger, um, pretty much ending with, um, you know, a lot of emer emotional turmoil, more like um, you uh, you weren't very emotionally close to uh, your parents, from what I can tell. Um, now you may have been really close as far as like um, you know you love your mom and dad, but you were a bit emotionally detached, and that usually happens with those of us who are, you know, in the LGBTQ community, um, you know, we sort of emotionally distance ourselves from uh, some of our family because we're afraid of how they'll react when we finally come out and tell the truth. 
but this is the future and this card is the world reversed now the world reversed it's basically telling me that you're gonna struggle with one of the courses that you're gonna be taking here soon um, I think that maybe because this card here um, as I said at my last uh, Celtic Cross me uh, reading, um, I'm only writing down, you know, I still have to write things down because whenever I get in front of my phone, I uh, pretty much uh, end up like a deer in headlights. Um, so I write down certain cues and clues so that I don't blank out and forget what I was going to say. Uh, but I also leave it open so that, you know, while I'm reading the card, I can... Um, get a feeling of what um, where I want to go with it now as far as the courses you're taking it looks like because this looks like the uh, the symbol on uh, you know the doctors have so I'm thinking that um, even though it looks like an anatomy course but um, even though I don't think you're going to be a medical doctor um, I think you're going to be a, a, a mental mental one. Um, it looks like you're going to be struggling with an anatomy course. Um, this next card, this is Future Influences, and this is Justice. Now, this is uh, basically saying that a past indiscretion is uh, going to resurface. Um, I don't know if it's actually illegal or uh, just something that you've done in your past that you're going to end up doing again, um, but that's what's going to influence this. Uh, maybe there was a course you took in high school, if they had anatomy in your high school and you sort of froze up when it came to... Because what I'm thinking about is um, when I was in high school I refused to take anatomy because they were dissecting kitty cats. Uh, yes, dead cats. So I was like dead set against that. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of these two cards. Okay, now this next card, this is how um, you see yourself. And this is the Four of Swords reversed. Now when the Four of Swords is upright, this is what I call my depression card. You know, she's lying, you know, she's sitting in her chair, wrapped in her blanket, covered in poppies. Uh, the doors bolted and you can see that you know she's sat there so long that the candle has burned out so this is what I call my depression card now with this reversed you know you see yourself as uh, someone who's not depressed um, you see yourself not exactly happy um, but you're existing if that makes sense um, you're pretty much take it as it comes type person. Now this is how others see you and this is the Four of Cups. Now this one is upright. Now the Four of Cups if you look the lady is looking at the three cups in front of her. She's already taken a sip from each one and she knows what's in them. She's bored with it. She's done. Um, so what you're seeing, or what others are seeing, is that you appear to be bored and um, apathetic. Um, but what you don't see is that you know there's another cup behind you with you know the thing that you need. So even though you know you may be bored and done with the cups in front of you there's always one behind you so this is how others are seeing you this next card this is your um, <clears throat> fear and this is the five of wands now the five of wands it's basically um, these guys are um, uh, it's kind of like a mock battle uh, or a uh, trying to think of the word I'm like 
Well, mock battle is the best I can think of right now. Um, you know, they're all taking certain stances, you know, defensive and offensive stances. So, with this, this would tell me that you're currently fearing that you won't be able to play along with those that you work with. Um, you know, I wouldn't really concern myself with that. Um, because I don't see you as a person who has issues getting along with people at work. Um, next card, or the final card I should say, this is the outcome, or overall, and this is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Alright, now, the Ten of Pentacles is basically the, uh, the family card. Um, as you can see, everyone is together and everyone is happy, everyone has what they need, even the ancestors are present. Now with this card reversed, this basically means that um, you're alienating and isolating yourself, which we all currently are doing. Um, <laughs> uh, but also it shows that there is a uh, loss of you know, material things, uh, you know, because pentacles are the suit of money, financial gains, and material possessions. Um, does that mean you're going to lose your job? No. Um, that means that pretty much it's what all of us are going through currently, and that is, you know, um, social distancing if you are at work you're feeling lonely because no one's at least within six feet of you um so overall this basically i would say um you know with your current position i think that they're going to close here soon and send you guys home i don't know if uh, you can work from home uh, but with this, I'm thinking with the loss of income or loss of material things that um, you're probably in a job where you cannot work from home. Um, so just prepare yourself for that. Um, now, looking at the cards and the things that I have gone over so far, um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary um, I do see two uh, three of the uh, major arcana which can represent a lot of power you know so right now with the lovers reversed let me move this one with the lovers reversed your future and future influences there's a lot of power now with that you know the lover's reverse is not exactly a bad thing. Maybe there was a uh, relationship that you were in that uh, didn't end well, that no one is, that neither one of you are happy about. Um, but, um, you know, with the Two of Pentacles um, being what's helping you, you know, balance everything's going to come out all right with that one and with the future with the, the wheel the world reversed um like i said you know um i'm not sure how to explain it but um on a lot of doctors things you see the like there's a man in the middle and all the circles um if i can find a picture i'll put it up at this point but if i don't um, you know, there's a lot of power here. It may be reversed, but that's just because you're going to have issues with uh, one of the classes. And like I said, with the Justice card here as a future influence, it reminds me of when I was in high school and went to take anatomy and they were dissecting cats and I refused. Uh, so that pretty much is the reading for today. Um, it's not a bad reading as far as your question. Um, I do see uh, possibly working from home, a loss of money, not being fired. Uh, most likely with what everything's going on right now, you'll end up um, working from home possibly. Um, also, um, there's 
quite a few uh, cups, which would mean emotional issues. Um, of course, emotional issues in the past here and how people see you. Um, so, um, if you want to change the way people see you, you know, be sure that you're looking over your shoulder for that next cup. Um, you know, because not everybody wants to hang around someone who's bored all the time. Or appears to be bored all the time. Okay, so that's pretty much all I am getting. I'm probably missing something. Um, if I am, uh, please feel free to comment down below. Let me know. Um, don't forget to leave this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Because I, I try to post every day. Um, two readings, of course. But I have missed a couple the past couple days. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful day.